Tonight on Work in CT, we are headed to Beacon Falls where it's always crunch time. The plant we're visiting performs a process nicknamed Bottles to Buildings. Essentially, it's a more earth friendly way to make concrete for green construction projects. Fox 61's Jim Altman has more. At this manufacturing plant, it's a mashup. It comes in holes, it comes in shattered, it comes in with non glass residues. In Beacon Falls, this is the home of Urban Mining CT, where the business model has been shattered by design. What's happening here? They call it bottles to buildings. Urban Mining Connecticut is a place where we take recycled glass and put it into sustainable concrete. Crushed glass turned into a special concrete. The patented process is known as positive. Positive is a pozzolan, a partial cement replacement. It replaces pound for pound cement in concrete uh, by up to 50%. The process is complex, but the objective is simple. Going high tech, they are intent on lowering carbon emissions. Lou Grasso is Urban Mining's managing partner. This plant at full capacity is the equivalent of taking 8,000 cars off the road for the state of Connecticut with regards to the carbon aspect per year. For the three-year-old plant, there are concrete results. They're just a bit more sustainable. Torrington High School, a new Canaan library, the Oxridge uh, Elementary School in Darien, Connecticut. Plus, there are new projects for skyscrapers in Manhattan. Their hope here is to keep building on the future. This is the first commercial scale plant in the country, and this plant could be replicated throughout the United States in every major metropolitan area. It is very cool, and it's great to be at the forefront of this new innovative product that is highly impactful and beneficial. In Beacon Falls, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.